Welcome back! This is always sometimes monsters with me, Epicaracacy. Episode 2, I believe. Let's see how I on is. Load. Uh, what am I doing? Sorry, my mouse is in the road. There's blood there. I said catch up. That's dirty mackerel in here. Uh, I am not below digging out of rubbish. It's a bed. Oh, you can just sleep there. Hello, dear fine lady. Uh, yeah, that was. A... Oh, hey, you stopped. No, I didn't. I did not. <laughs> yeah, you and my and my right. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty slick drug if I do say so. Maybe we could take it for a spin together sometime. Yeah, dude. Oh, yo, hit me up later. I gotta go. <laughs> that truck, though. <laughs> it's, it's yellow. No. Hey, hey, welcome to Dirty Don's Popcorn Stand, where I sell fresh popcorn and absolutely nothing else. Is there anything else? <laughs> I just told you I sell popcorn, nothing else. Get lost, kid. Oh. Want some sweet drugs, though. Got the Coke. Coke, man. You know what? Let's go collecting. Yo, dick. Take a look around. Sell. No, I can't sell that. Um. Don't, don't really feel like eating that. Is, is that I got six? Yeah. What's that? Five. What's that? Twenty. Mm. I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, okay, I'll talk to you. I don't really need to say that. I'm not gonna steal jewelry. It's not a thing. Oh, holy crap! He has red eyes. You a vampire, dude? There are a few things more annoying than happy strangers trying to make small talk with you. Oh. Dude. Do, 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 do. Is that a light music? I like it. Welcome to Charlie's Convenience. What can I get for you today? I don't want to buy anything. I don't have any money. It's the hottest club in ever for anything. Can I check the time? What's the time? No. I can't check the time. Okay. Maybe I'll go back to my apartment. Apartment, dude. No wonder your boss is a hitman. Oh, it actually did it this time. Sure. She seems nice. Oh, Ayana, is that you? Yeah. Come right in. Just over here getting some veggies card, don't mind the mess. Okay. I won't. I'm really glad you're making up syrup, but then again, what are you here for? Huh? Where do you want me to start? Well, I'm sure you guess there's a lot to get down. Like a straight in the bookshelves would be a good place to begin. Some photos in the bedroom I'd like straight but just can't reach. The catch is a bit of a mess too. That darned cat of mine just keeps knocking everything over. If he gets in your way, I don't hesitate to show him out of the way. You're doing quite the best. I'll be just over here preparing, uh, preparing dinner for this evening if you need anything. I think I can manage. There's one more thing I need from you. But that can wait until you're done. Got it. Music. Are you humming a tune? Oh! Looks like an old photo album. Everyone's saying, oh, I can't even tell which Telewiger. Tele Tewiger. They all look so glamorous in black and white. Oh. I guess Tewiger was a travel enthusiast or something. 
She's got all sorts of brochures for exotic destinations in this folder. There's a lot of West Coast in here. I wonder what she's doing in Dubstown. Oh, there's a bunch of old newspapers left out. Some of these look pretty old too. Neat. It's like holding up a bit of piece of history. Jesus. Oh, a pillow. Loose pillows all over the place. That darn cat's a menace. I should consider a career. <laughs> you place an eight pillow. Don't get ahead of yourself. This is now a sofa fit for royal. No. <laughs> It's not how it works. Is this the bedroom? Nope. Does it have to do anything in here? Oh! <laughs> Postal 2 in the kitty little box. That's right. How did they... The photo... on out. What? They're the wrong way. This is a bit weird. Can I make it again? Oh yeah. Nope. The bookshelves are organized, the couch is tidied, and the photos in your room are straightened. That's lovely, you're such a good kid. Thomas is going to be so pleased. A tidy home is very important, you know. Place looking a lot nicer, so I who's Thomas? If you don't mind me asking, who's Thomas? Is he the one you're expecting for dinner tonight? Sounds like an awful lot of trouble to go through for just one evening. I'm sorry I didn't explain, did I? Thomas and I used to be married we were together for a very long time. We still love each other very much. Tonight's my beloved's birthday. He was always very particular about a few things when we lived together. Every year, I throw a little dinner party for just the two of us and make his favourite meal. He just loves an old-fashioned stew. When's he coming? Oh, well, he isn't, he's not exactly. Thomas passed away a good many years ago, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I don't think he meant a great deal to you. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, he really does. He's the love of my life, but he was taken too soon. We don't easily forget the people that make life worth living, do we? Very small way, I know what you mean. Yeah, you gotta let him go. Best to let go of these memories as soon as you possibly can, I think. Sometimes I think it's the more hollow road, though, dismissing the past. If you truly love someone, it isn't even a choice, I'm afraid. Try to let go, try to hold on, it doesn't matter. Once you've heard the voice of your one true love, it will echo in your heart forever. So that's what tonight's all about. When someone special comes into your life, you need to do everything you can to honor them. Real love, real honest love, is all about that. Even after all this time, you think love is like a permanent fixture? Uh, yes, a real one. Oh, I didn't read that. They say nothing lasts forever, and that all relationships end one way or another. Then I know how impossible it can be to let go of someone who means so much to you. I'm glad you understand. It's really. It's truly rare to find someone that betters our lives the way I love real love can. I read that as livers. This is just my silly way of treasuring that, I suppose. Oh, look at me getting all emotional. I'll never get dinner ready if I keep on like this. Sorry, do you mind running out of the shelf for me and getting a few things I need? Get another one to collect myself. Okay. Fresh lamb meat. Tea roses. A bottle of classic club rye. It's very important. I think I can manage just fine. Here, yeah, take my bank card with you. You trust me with your bank card, okay? You can find the pin for it on the fridge. I never can remember it on my own these days. Are you sure? My name is B. You barely know me. Oh, of course, I trust you, Ayana. You're a good kid, and I can just tell that by looking at you. Besides, I haven't much money to steal anyway. Pension check comes in every two weeks and spends itself the least just as quickly. There was a deposit just today, so there should be enough in here for everything. Or at least she's right. Alright, I'll see you soon. Okay. Your pin is 8223 Nations Bank. Leave it. I'll remember it. She will forget it otherwise. Boom. Ding. 
run? No, I can't run. Oh, I can take these now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know that. Um, is this the bank? Ah, it is. Atom. No, I don't want that one. Oh, I forgot it. I forgot it. <laughs> Cancel. Okay. What did I got? <sighs> I'll be right back. Sorry to Willajo. I forgot the pin, I had to take it. I hope. Um. Oh, not that one. Oh, I forgot that one too, though. doing? Lamb's meat. Uh, classic club rye. I, I actually, I heard there was a place down here. Oh, can I talk to you? Bug me, tell me what do you need. I know, I, I, I read something about this. So where do we come in? Well, long story short is that in the midst of getting fired, I forgot a very valuable possession. So we go get it. If you're willing, I will keep watch here while you run and grab my bacon bomb. Wait, what? I don't cover by anyone. This ain't no ordinary bacon bomb, it's got Jesus' face on it. I've seen it myself. When I look at it, it's as if the Lord himself is talking right to me. Well, that's pretty crazy, but I'll consider it. Is there any security back there? I used to do it yourself. Security cameras back there. No, nobody like you should be able to sit in and out completely untraced. They saw me limping around, they know something was up. It's your bacon bomb though, right? Why would there be any trouble getting it back? I was just looking for a free lunch, actually. I've got, I've still got access. Take whatever you like from in there. There's no way they'll catch you, I'm sure of it. I'll give it some thought. I, I don't know if this, like, gets me caught or... Oh, steal it. No one's there, right? <laughs> Should be fine. Goblaws. What's that? Oh. Flowers. Tea roses. Steal them. Everybody love flowers. Oh, I thought that was another box. Not that. No. Oh. 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 Let's grab that for him. Oh, yes! If I get, like, arrested, the truth is, nope, I'm gonna sell it back. Food and dog biscuits. Oh, you sell flowers, you sell meat. 
that's a nice way to interest in, in, I don't know, it's a word I'm looking for. Ooh, can't sell anything. Amazing. Like thing my ass. It's ghastly. <laughs> this hilarious film with tutor tutoriality. That's just dumb. <laughs> I'll go to talk to Leledi. There's no fences, but people could fall off really easily. I'll end it here, guys. Bye. I'll see you next time. Boop.